If you Google the question on how to have a higher score on Project Sekai, you always see some common tips like, oh, get a better team, keep up the combos, but that is boring and doesn't really tell you the calculation behind the scenes. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the actual formulas and what it means for you as a player. In short, each note in the song contributes a set amount of score given by this formula. So now let's break it down one by one. First off, band power. Before you start a song, the number above your team composition is your team talent score. Very simple. I'll be introducing how to boost team talent in a later video, but it is mostly down to the level of your cards. But please note that this is for solo life only. It is still not confirmed how the band power of your teammates will affect your band power score in the scoring calculation. Then it is divided by the weighted number of notes. Pro Sekai's score is inversely proportional to the number of notes in order to prevent the score from dropping significantly on lower difficulties due to the difference in the number of notes. However, this doesn't refer to the raw number of notes that you see at the end of the game. For example, if a song has 5 flicks, 3 slides and 2 taps, that doesn't mean that the band power will be divided by 10 back in the previous formula. In Project Sekai, there are 8 types of notes, and all of these notes have different weightings. For normal taps, it will count as a single note, and normal flicks will also count as a single note. For slides, the weighting is a bit different. There are 3 parts of the slides that count as notes. First of all, the start and finish will each count as a single note. Then, when you are holding a slide, it will also count between a fixed interval as 0.1 note. Sometimes you also have these dotted things in the middle of the slide, so they will also count as an extra 0.1. That means the regular interval count will still exist even if there are those dotted things on the slide. Critical notes, which are these yellow notes, have a much higher weighting than the normal notes. Critical tabs count as 2 notes, and critical flicks count as 3 notes. And then for slides, the critical slides doubles, start and finish count as 2 notes. The middle and dots count as 0.2. Let's have an example, tell your world normal. So there are 176 notes that count as single note, including tabs, flicks, slide start points and end points. 277 notes for the dotted or middle of a slide. 10 notes for critical tabs, critical slides start and end point. As well as 7 critical flicks and 22 critical slide midpoint. Let's do the maps. And then, we will end up with 249.1. So tell your world easy mode is 106.3 for your reference. So, I hope you are not feeling lost. Let's go back to the formula. After the weighted notes, we have the difficulty variable referring to how hard the song is. The variable is given off by this formula. This means a level 25 song will have a variable of 1.1 and a level 5 song will have a variable of 1. This also shows that the game doesn't care whether you are on expert, master or hard. It purely looks at the level to calculate the score. Now let's imagine the scenario where you have to choose between a level 31 masters and a level 26 expert in a cheerful carnival event. Choosing a high level song will give you a higher score, but how much of a difference does it make? So the difference will be 0.025 or just 2%. Or you can just see from the formula that the variable increases by 0.05 for each level. Next we have accuracy, pretty simple. Perfect count as 100%, great as 70% and good as 50%. Bad or missed does not count anything and they count as 0%. By the way, if you are using auto life, then those auto notes will count as 50%. Then we have the combo bonus. 1% will be added for each 100 combo. Very simple. Skill effects refers to the card skills. Note that the cards give a percentage increase, so you need to add up the score percentage with a base percentage of 100%.
Lastly, we have the FIFA effects. When you are in multi-life, FIFA gives an extra 50% in the score. Super FIFA gives the same score of percentage as normal FIFA, but it does give out an extra reward at the end of the line, so try not to break the combo. So now, let's go back to the question of choosing a higher difficulty versus a lower difficulty. Let's look at the formula and see for itself. A higher difficulty gives you an advantage of the difficulty variable and the combo bonus. Harder songs also have a higher number of notes, though this is offset by the number of weighted notes. Unless you can reliably get great combos. Anyway, this is the formula for scoring in Project Sekai. Next video will be something special and about vocaloids in general. Please subscribe for more content and I'll see you. Goodbye.